Today we're talking about a very, very casual topic, a very mild topic, nothing theoretical, just a thought that I had after a discussion on Twitter about the usage of GG. Now GG is something that goes way back in the gaming community. We have actually seen it as early as RTS games like Warcraft 3, where when you played against an opponent and you played well that game and the enemy played well as well and one of you won, you would say GG. The interesting thing, or why I got to this topic, is how different people interpret GG, or how they think it should be used. For some people, GG is basically a firm handshake. After a match, no matter how it went, similar to sports where you have those handshakes with the enemy team, or the opposing team, uh, you will say GG, regardless of out the outcome, regardless of if that match was actually a good game or not. On the other hand, you have people who use GG as well as BG, BG being a bad game. In that case, you don't really use GG as a handshake, but rather you use it to indicate when you thought a game was actually very good. It was a good game that you enjoyed playing against the enemy, whereas you use BG if you think that the game was bad or was unfair, bad matchmaking, anything like that. Then obviously there's also the outlier, which is GG ads or anything like that, where you're saying GG in, well, the traditional sense, but you don't really mean it because you're actually just trying to insult the enemy players by telling them how easy the game was for you. That outlier case really doesn't leave much room for interpretation. You don't ever mean this in a friendly way. GG adds it's simply trying to piss off the enemy team. With GG, that's not necessarily the case, and this is where a little uh, clash of interpretations comes up. With the two different interpretations that I've mentioned before, there is a bit of uh, miscommunication that can arise from these two variants. A player that uses GG as a firm handshake may to a small degree feel attacked or at least uh, somewhat not treated nicely if the enemy says BG. He will think that he doesn't basically respond to the handshake, so it would be the same as in sport, just ignoring the handshake of the player you played against, and that is considered very rude. On the other hand, a person that uses both BG and GG may think that if somebody says GG in a game that was actually very bad, that they're actually being pretentious and uh, ignorant and don't really consider how this game went and that it was actually not a good game for either, or may think that they're being mocked in a similar fashion to GG ads. So, while none of the people really mean harm, it's more of uh, different interpretations of how to use these words, there may be a rising conflict. Obviously nothing dramatic, it's nothing that would hurt anyone deeply or anything like that. But it's interesting to me that this clash between the different interpretations of such very simple words, or letters rather, exists. A little thought on how these different interpretations came up. It kind of may depend a little bit on the country you're living in and what you're used to from there. In many countries, for example, questions like how are you are simply answered with good. You don't really answer the actual question of how you're feeling. So even if you were feeling really awful, you would still say good simply because that's how it's handled in your country and you don't expect the other person to really want to know how you're feeling deep inside. In other countries, this is not the case, at least in Germany, it's quite the opposite. If you are asked by someone how you're feeling, then you'll give them a very honest answer and that can actually be very irritating to some people in other countries who are not used to that very same behavior. And I feel like this reflects a little bit in the GG and BG thing. In some countries, uh, some cultures, you will just be used to that traditional handshake thing where you just say, hey, that was good, that was a good game, whatever, whereas others will honestly say how they felt about that particular game. Obviously, there's nothing game-changing or anything like that, but I think it's something interesting worth keeping in mind if you see someone writing BG in the post-game lobby or GG and it bothers you a little bit, that they may just mean it in another way. With that, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you for the next one tomorrow. If you enjoyed this, feel free to click that subscribe button and maybe the bell. It really helps me out. Duke Sloth, out.